Hey guys, Technomentary with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be unboxing yet another iPhone 8 from Mercari. This was $120. Really excited to unbox this because I found a pretty good deal. Because if you're buying a used iPhone, they're still pretty much, you know, around $200 to $250 on other sites. And on Mercari, some seller was selling it for $120. If you guys don't know what Mercari is, it's a app that lets in you and buy and sell. So sometimes people are getting rid of their old phones or even anything else you can think of. And that's why they sell it so cheap. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And to enter a giveaway for our iPhone, simply if you like this video, share this video on all of your social media sites. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button. And once you have done all of that, comment in the comment section that you have completed all the steps and what currently, what phone you are currently using. So let's go ahead with this unboxing. As I mentioned, I ordered it off Mercari. And if you guys are looking to buy something from Mercari, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description where if you guys join today, you're going to get $30 towards your purchase. But you have to be on a... A device that can download app either Android or iPhone or any anything that you have but you have to be downloading an app and signing up through that you can use a website so let's go ahead and start this unpacking for you guys so it came uh, after you order something the seller has three days to ship it and it took about three days to come so the seller was pretty quick to ship it out Usually what happens is when you make a purchase, uh, you can message the seller or even on an item that you see on this app. You, you guys will know what I mean once you download the app. It's pretty interactive and it's pretty much like a social media for buying and selling. That's the thing about this, uh, this app. So as you can see here, it came in this gold iPhone 7 box and we're going to go ahead and gonna open it up to see what we have inside. And inside here, as you can see, we have the instruction manual and then, of course, the phone itself. All, and then inside it is a pair of, looks like lightly used headphones and an adapter with it. So these are probably the older generation of the headphones. So that's what we got. We didn't get a charger or anything like that. That's the thing about buying used phones is that you're not going to always get the accessories. Um, the way to do it is that once you buy something, especially phones, is message a seller to see if they have any of the stuff they can include. I message this person and then ask them what else they have that they can include. And they said uh, headphones and then the box, of course, of which of course if this is an iPhone 8 box, that's fine. As you can see here, this is the gold edition of the iPhone 8. And if we take a quick visual inspection of it, the back is clean, the camera's clean here, no issues there. And then if we look at the top part here, looks clean. This side looks clean. So, and then the bottom part, here's a little bit of nick here and there, but, and of course it is a used phone. You're gonna expect to have those. And then this side of the SIM card tray looks good for the most part. And a little bit of blemish here. So for the most part, it's been well taken care of. The glass is a bad glass on the iPhone 8, has wireless charging. And then if we look at the top part here, looks clean as well, no issues there. So now, um, no major scratch, anything like that, that I see. So now we're going to go ahead and power this on. Hopefully it has charge. If, okay, it does have charge. Sometimes what happens is when you buy a phone off that's used, especially um, if it's a used phone, they might not have charge and you're going to have to charge it. So that's what you're going to have to do. And as you can see, this phone, it looks like it's been factory reset because we're at the setup screen. Generally, this is the screen you get once you buy a new phone it's going to be at this step where you set up all the stuff so we're going to go ahead and select a language here select a region and then we're going to hit this setup manually and the next thing you want to do is of course pop the sim card in if you have the sim card so you can get data uh, but if you don't have the sim card you can use the wi-fi or connect it to itunes to set it up so we're going to use the wi-fi here that we have And right now we are signing into a wife, local Wi-Fi here that we have set up to set up the phone. And as you can see, it's doing this initial setup phase. This kind of validates with the Apple server that there is no previous account signed into the phone. 
with the Apple phones, what happens is that if someone is signed into a, on this device, you're not going to be able to pass the screen for setup until you put their credentials, which means a phone is activation lock or iCloud lock. You don't want to buy any of those phones on this app. That's the thing. You'll see a ton of people selling these iCloud or activation locked phone, and they're going to say it's a easy fix. It's not an easy fix, and you pretty much are going to be screwed and uh, pretty much scammed out of your money. So stay away from those devices. And as you can see, we got to the privacy screen here and then the touch and it's looking for us to gonna set all of this up, but we're not gonna set any of that up. Even for apps and data, we're not moving anything. Of course you can from either iCloud backup, your Mac or PC, or directly from another phone by putting it side by side. But we're not gonna do any of that. So we're just not gonna transfer any data. Next thing we were gonna do is actually here, as you can see, you can sign into your own Apple ID if you have one. If you don't, you can go ahead and create one for free. We're just gonna say we're not setting that up right now. Here's that what I mentioned. You can either create a new one, forgot a password of your existing one, you could do that, or you can set up later, which we're gonna click here to just bypass the screen. And then terms and condition, and then express settings, we're just gonna go with that. Similarly, we're just gonna go with all of this express stuff. We're not gonna set up Siri because it's gonna ask us to do commands and just so that you guys can see, you can get to the home screen here with no issues. That's what we're looking to do here. And voila, as you can see here, we got to the home screen, no issues whatsoever. The apps are still downloading and this phone is legit. Uh, one way to verify and to make sure the phone is genuine is you can go to the app store and it should take you to the app store. If it's a fake phone, it's gonna take you to some Android or Google Play Store. That's how you know a phone is fake right off the bat. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is with these used phones is that you're gonna start wanting to test, you know, the buttons, the camera, everything else with it, the battery, because if you find an issue that the seller didn't mention on this app, you can actually open up a return request where the seller has to accept the return because they gave you a, a phone that wasn't described as the way it was. So generally, we did a video on how to test a used phone that if you guys want to check it out, make sure to check out that video in our channel. Go thoroughly on how to test all of the functionality out. But a quick test we're going to do is make sure, you know, our buttons are working. As you can see, I'm checking out the volume button, the silent button, the power button, of course, the home button, all of that are all functioning. And then we want to check out the camera, make sure the back camera is working. And then the front camera, of course, as you can see, it's working as well. So camera works fine, the home button, everything so far checks out fine. Next thing you're going to do is insert a SIM card. It looks like there's already a SIM card in this phone. That's why it has Verizon. Uh, so I don't have to put a SIM card. That's the other thing about it, guys. Make sure you guys, whenever you buy a phone, is that it's compatible with your carrier. So this phone is unlocked, which means you can use it on any carrier, most carriers actually. If it's a phone that's specifically locked to a carrier, that means that you can only use it for that carrier and then sub carriers, which means other smaller companies that use the same tower. You can generally figure that out by contacting your carrier to see what the major carrier tower they use. That's one way to check it out. And of course, the other thing you can do is take the IME number, which you can find in the settings of the phone here, which if you go down here, you'll see there's a IME number. You can always take that number, ask the seller for that number. And then once you get that number, you're going to want to contact your carrier to see if the phone is going to be compatible on the network. So those are a couple of tips I want to share with you guys. And then a couple of other tips I want to share with you guys on using Mercari is, first of all, use the link in the description to sign up so you actually get the credit towards your first purchase. The next thing is that whenever you guys are buying something on this app, make sure the seller has really good ratings. And the seller rating can be found at the bottom of every listing. So if you scroll down all the way at the bottom, you'll see a seller's name and then a rating out of five star. You wanna buy from a seller that has you know, I would say just buy from someone that has close to five stars. Um, anything lower than that, it's kind of a little bit sketchy. 
Uh, and then you could always click on the seller's profile to check out what they're selling. If you see that the seller has no ratings, are selling an iPhone, newer iPhones for like only $100 or something, most likely it's a scam. Don't purchase those, stay away from those. Generally, it'll also tell you how long the seller's been on the platform. And those are usually the scam accounts are like, you're gonna see the date be the recent. It's gonna be like they just joined this month, this year, which is gonna be the current month and year. Most likely it's a scam. So those are a couple of tips I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys have any other questions, leave it below in the comment section. We'll try to go ahead and answer those for you guys. So thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.